The calculations are in, and they are absolutely stunning. Following yesterday's confirmation of 3I Atlas's non-gravitational acceleration, Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb ran the numbers, and what he discovered might fundamentally change how we understand the universe itself. According to the most basic law of physics, the conservation of momentum, if Atlas were acting like an ordinary comet, it should have lost at least one-sixth of its entire mass during its close passage to the sun. That's not poetic exaggeration. That's billions of tons of material, evaporated, scattered, blown into space within weeks. But here's the strange part. There's no sign of that material anywhere. No debris cloud, no vapor trail, no diffuse halo of dust. Nothing. It's as if the object broke the rules of motion themselves, accelerating without shedding any mass at all. The implications are staggering. For something of that size, estimated at roughly 33 billion tons, to move faster than gravity predicts, a counterforce must exist. If it's not the sun's radiation, not gas outflow, and not gravitational pull from nearby planets, then we're forced to ask the unthinkable. What exactly is pushing 3I Atlas? And could it be deliberate? The turning point came from Chile's Atacama Desert, home to the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, or ALMA, one of the most advanced telescope networks on Earth. On October 29, 2025, when 3I Atlas reached perihelion, ALMA detected that the object was four arcseconds off from where it should have been if it were following a purely gravitational path. Four arcseconds may sound microscopic, but in cosmic scale that's enormous. It's the kind of deviation that can only be explained by an external force, something besides the sun acting on it. ALMA's precision is unmatched, so the data were double-checked, triple-checked, confirmed. The offset was real. Loeb applied the laws of momentum conservation to calculate what this deviation meant for a natural comet. His results were crystal clear. For a comet of Atlas's size to shift by that much, it would have to eject at least five and a half billion tons of gas and dust, roughly the mass of Mount Everest, within one month. That kind of mass loss would create a tail so bright it could outshine Venus, yet nothing of the sort has been detected. The Webb Space Telescope, Hubble and ground-based observatories all confirm the same thing. There is no visible cloud. The sky around Atlas remains eerily clear. This is the missing mass problem. If physics says the object must have lost mass to move, and observations say it hasn't, then either our physics is incomplete, or the object is not behaving naturally. For months, scientists have scrambled to find an explanation. Could it be a new kind of sublimation? An unknown volatile? Some optical illusion caused by angle or lighting? Every model fails. The data remain consistent. Atlas is accelerating without mass loss. Earlier readings from the James Webb Space Telescope had shown Atlas behaving normally, a calm interstellar visitor with a slow, steady outgassing rate of about 150 kilograms per second. Nothing that could account for an acceleration of this magnitude. But suddenly, near perihelion, its motion changed. It was as if something inside it switched on. The object began accelerating subtly but unmistakably, away from its predicted course. Not randomly. Not erratically. Smoothly. Controlled. If Atlas were truly a comet, this kind of acceleration should be accompanied by bright emission. We should see gas trails, infrared spikes, ultraviolet scattering, all the normal signatures of evaporation. Yet none appear. This is what led Loeb to propose something radical, that Atlas might be displaying a technological signature, a form of propulsion beyond our comprehension. Not proof of alien life, but evidence of artificial mechanism, a controlled process rather than a chaotic one. And this isn't the first time such an anomaly has appeared. In 2017, the first known interstellar object, Aumuamua entered our system, spun rapidly, reflected sunlight like a sheet of polished metal, and accelerated without producing gas. Astronomers called it a dark comet, a term that makes no sense since a comet's very definition requires visible outgassing. But because they had no other explanation, they created one. Loeb's argument then was simple. Maybe it wasn't a comet at all. Maybe it was technology. He was ridiculed for that idea until now. Because 3I Atlas is showing the same behavior, only stronger, clearer, and far harder to dismiss. To grasp how strange this object really is, we have to look at the full picture. Atlas is not a random visitor. It's a pattern of impossibility stitched together. 
it entered our solar system in perfect alignment with the plane of the planets, within just five degrees of the ecliptic. For an interstellar object, that's nearly impossible. Statistically, the odds are less than one in a thousand. Then there's its jet. Every comet in history forms a tail that points away from the sun. Atlas's jet points directly toward it. That's not just unusual, that's backward physics. You don't see that unless something is controlling the direction of ejection, or the ejection isn't gas at all. Its size and speed also make no sense together. Normally, large objects move slower through interstellar space because mass resists acceleration. Atlas breaks that rule, combining the inertia of a mountain with the velocity of a bullet. Its composition deepens the mystery. Spectral readings show an unusually high nickel to iron ratio, a profile that resembles refined metal alloys, similar to those we use in aerospace applications, not the primitive dust of a comet, and it's nearly dry. Comets are mostly water ice. Atlas contains less than 4% water. It's not a snowball, it's metal and dust. Even the way it reflects light is alien. Polarization readings show patterns never recorded in natural materials. The object twists incoming sunlight in ways no rock or ice can. And as it moved toward the sun, it didn't dim or redden like every other comet on record. It turned bluer and brighter. Imagine a chunk of rock glowing with a hue more intense than starlight as it nears the sun. That's what observers are seeing. Then there's its timing perfect, almost theatrical. Atlas arrived just as multiple planetary alignments formed. Earth, Venus, and Mercury positioned sequentially along its path. During this time, it slipped behind the Sun, becoming completely invisible from Earth. For eight days, every telescope on the planet was blind. When it re-emerged, its position had shifted again. The alignment, the blackout, the movement, it reads like choreography, not coincidence. The December observation window will decide everything. On December 19th, Atlas will make its closest approach to Earth, roughly 269 million kilometers away. Hundreds of telescopes, Hubble, Webb, ALMA, the European Southern Observatory, the International Asteroid Warning Network, will all focus on the same coordinates. If the natural hypothesis is correct, a massive cloud of dust and gas will become visible as the object continues to shed mass. But if that cloud never appears, and the acceleration continues, then the only viable explanation left will be technological propulsion. And here's the key point Loeb emphasizes. This isn't a popularity contest. Science doesn't bend to opinion polls or headlines. It follows the data wherever they lead. For months, science communicators online have mocked the possibility of technology, claiming it's just a comet. Yet none of them have explained the acceleration, the missing mass, the anti-tail, or the polarization anomalies. Loeb, by contrast, has published 11 scientific papers on Atlas in the past few months alone, documenting every inconsistency with rigorous math. He's not claiming proof of aliens. He's saying the evidence doesn't fit existing theories. And when data contradict the model, you change the model. Atlas is not a small body. It's roughly a million times more massive than Aumuamua and about a thousand times larger than Borisov the second interstellar object discovered in 2019. Statistically, the chance of something being that large, that fast, and that precise in its trajectory is less than one-tenth of one percent. It's as if the universe is showing us a phenomenon tailored to be noticed. If Aumuamua was the whisper, Atlas is the shout. The physics are simple but profound. To accelerate, an object must exert force in the opposite direction, Newton's third law. For a comet, that force comes from evaporating gases, but Atlas shows no such release. Its acceleration is therefore non-gravitational, a euphemism scientists use when they have no idea what's happening. In principle, a reflective solar sail, a structure that converts light into motion, could do exactly this. It would accelerate gently without shedding mass, powered only by sunlight. Such technology is within human reach today. We've already launched small versions of it, the difference is that Atlas is not small. Its behavior implies a structure kilometers wide, an artifact of vast engineering sophistication. If this interpretation is correct, we're not witnessing a random event. We're witnessing technology operating right now, within the solar system, in plain view of our most powerful telescopes, not ancient ruins, not radio signals from light years away. 
a working craft or something that once was one, crossing through the inner system on a trajectory that defies natural explanation. The next few months will determine which story survives. If the expected gas cloud appears in December, Atlas will be remembered as the strangest comet in history. But if the sky around it remains clear, if we see acceleration without loss, propulsion without exhaust, then this will be remembered as the moment humanity confirmed we are not alone. The countdown has already begun. Observatories worldwide are synchronizing their schedules. Every photon that leaves Atlas between now and January will be recorded, dissected, analyzed. Somewhere out there, an object the size of a city is moving under a force we cannot explain. Whether it's natural, artificial, or something in between, one thing is certain. It's rewriting our understanding of how the universe works. And if it truly is what some suspect, a piece of technology operating between the planets, then for the first time in history, we won't just be studying the cosmos. The cosmos will be studying us. The truth will come not in decades or centuries, but in weeks. December 19th will tell us whether Atlas is the strangest rock ever born, or the first spacecraft humanity has ever caught in the act. Until then, every telescope, every researcher, every eye on Earth will remain fixed on the same patch of sky, waiting for the answer to one question that could change everything we thought we knew. What exactly is 3i Atlas?